Alright, I'll tell our viewers, man. It's <clears throat> we back with Money Gang Slugger. Yes, sir. It's number three, brother. What's happening? What's going on, man? Number three. Number three. Now, if niggas have been paying attention, they should see the growth. You know what I'm saying? Like, from the first interview we ever did to now, they should see the growth. You got chains and shit. <laughs> R. Kelly earrings and shit. <laughs> Rolex bust down and shit. Like, tell them what's up, bro. Tell them, tell them how the ground been, bro. I ain't gonna lie. God been blessing the trap for sure. Like, I just feel like I just got to my level to where a nigga really want to rap now. Like, now nah, I can not necessarily fit in, but I can still get the same attention as any of anybody favorite artists like them niggas be around me and be like yeah bro you a real nigga like plenty of big mainstreams and hot undergrounds and all that like niggas always tell me bro you got it all you need is a hot record you gonna be out of here it's like so sure. niggas just really pride itself on his appearance and reputation that's really why this shit look like that Right. Okay, yeah. so do you let's talk about it. So do you feel like <clears throat> you kinda gotta like dress this shit up when it comes to being an artist, like people gonna it, give you that respect? It depends, like depending on what type of artist you trying to portray yourself to be. If you always talking about money and clothes and and hoes and cars and all that shit, you better be able to pull up in that shit or put that shit on or have something going, you know what I'm saying? If not, you ain't gonna go far, cause nigga, I'm like, oh, that nigga ain't, he ain't really doing what he talking about, or he ain't got no bread, like, shit show, right now, niggas know, like, Slugger having his way, regardless of what anybody gotta say, or niggas wanna hate, or, I don't know, bro, like, yeah. niggas show me love everywhere I go. Yeah. Now, now, do you feel like <clears throat> beginning, like, say for instance, like first interview time, like when you came around, not even the same people or even the same people, do you do you feel like they treated you the same way then as they do now? No. When I first, when I first did the interview with you, it was like, who the fuck is this nigga? Because when we first did the interview, we was really just now starting to get our feet wet with the shit, like. We was just in the shop. We had just really started getting everything how we wanted it. You know what I'm saying? I really wasn't even nowhere near the point I'm at right now. I was really just like starting to figure the shit out. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what a nigga need to be doing. And then I stayed down that whole year. Then next year, you came, we did the other one, the studio was open. So like shit, after that, Shit been way up. Like now it's like the next time we have an interview, nigga gonna be already up out of here. Like, yeah. regardless if it's the rap or just period. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. nigga just in the right mindset and the right. I'm I got the right game plan right now to where, fuck it, I'ma just run up the score regardless. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so let's talk about this record, bro. Like this. And I'm and it's really just been out. We talking about stupid, mm -hmm. but I feel like this one can really go somewhere, bro. Like I feel like this really can take some shit away from here for you. You know what I'm saying? So like, what made you go ahead and put Fastlane on remix? I mean, me and Fastlane, our relationship so strong and so locked in that I just let him hear it, like. Cause I had did another song called Intro, and he was like, "Man, bro, you need to put me on some shit like this." And when I let him hear it, it wasn't even out yet. I had just really recorded it the night before. Yeah. I let him hear it. He got out his car jamming that hole. Like, yeah, this hole hard. I'm gonna copy back tomorrow to put a verse on this hole. Yeah. So I was like, "All right, cool." I had already. Put a plan in motion for it. That's why the original song came out. I'm like, I'm gonna drop the song. 
that way, shit, it can start getting a little buzz to it. Yeah. So everywhere I go, I'm performing it, playing it, shit, putting niggas on it. Boom. I could have shot a video to it at first, but I was like, nah, we're going to fuck them up. And record the remix, shoot the video, then drop the remix. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That way when niggas go and, damn, this whole hard. What's the name of this? Stupid. Boom, niggas go right back. It's really, like, this shit really all a play. Like, this rap shit is a play. If you ain't really figured that part out, this shit not like the streets, but it is in certain aspects. Like, mm. you got to, like, really be, like, a hustler to, to understand how to look at the rap game. Like, I mean, but, you know. That's another conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We be talking about that shit all day. Yeah. Okay. So, let's talk about you able to buy your mom's a Rolex. How did that shit feel? Because I, like, ever since I've known you, you always been on some feed your family type shit. Like, you're going to take care of your people for sure. For sure. Everybody around you, you know what I'm saying? They look like how you look or better. You know what I'm saying? Like, you make sure that. So how did that shit feel, being able to cash out on something like that for your mom? I mean, I been was supposed to do it, but I couldn't find the the one she wanted. Like if 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 I would have just rushed and got it, she probably would have had the one she wanted. But I felt like at the same time, I just didn't want to do something that once I do it. Now I gotta hustle and get that shit back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I really wanted to do it to where I didn't even see it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So really, I just ran my bag up and just put it aside because I was still buying my own jewelry at the time. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So after a nigga went through all that, I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go ahead. And every time I go to the jeweler, he always would ask me though, like, What's up with your mom's Rolex? You supposed to got it out for Christmas. Yeah. I was like, yeah, you right, you right, I'ma get it. And then I just said, fuck it, I'm just gonna give it to her. And it was just like a random day. It wasn't even nothing special going on or nothing. Yeah. So gave it to her. And, and and my mama, she always had nice stuff, like, so it's hard to please somebody who got everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But being able to do that out of my own pocket and know I didn't borrow it or none of that type of shit, it really was like equal to buying her a car. Like I could have bought her a car yeah. or whatever. Like you know what I'm saying? It just be different moments. Like a nigga still had that moment when I get her a car. Yeah. The car gotta be six figures. You feel me? It gotta yeah. be the car that she want for sure. That she been looking up on the internet. Trying to see how much money she got to save and all this shit. Yeah. That's, you know what I'm saying? That car situation is different and the house shit is too. Like, mm -hmm. the Rolex is like something I feel like that's the beginner level. Like, buy your mama Rolex, especially if you got one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I really posted about it before I got one. Yeah. But she was really like, go ahead and build your image up. You know what I'm saying? She always believed in what a nigga had going on. So, yeah. It was only right to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done bought the earrings and all type of other shit already. That, and nigga don't even have to brag about that type of shit. Because as a son, nigga, that's what you're supposed to do for your mama regardless. So, but that shit did make a nigga feel good, though. I say, so how was her reaction to this? Because you, like you said, she always had nice shit. How did she feel when you, when you just popped out with that? She liked it. But the first thing she said was, oh, I thought it was going to be the black face. It was the, uh, the, the pearl face with the diamonds in there. I thought that was like a more classier look, but she liked the black that I got in mind. So she wanted, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, that shit ain't there. We can flip flop all that shit. But yeah. other than that, she was, she was happy about it. Yeah. Now you just had a birthday pass, and did you get another? Did you get another Rolex for your birthday? Or yeah, I got one. 
I'm about to say I seen some shit spinning around and all kind of shit. I'm like, God damn, yeah. like so what what was that about? Did that was that a gift to you? Well it's like a gift to myself. You to yourself. I, I just got I got a, a a big boy Rolex. Okay. Yeah. That was it. I got I had got some new jewelry and shit, but I'm still waiting on him to finish it. Okay. Once he finishes it, you know, fuck him up again. Okay. But I've been giving niggas a chance to like go on ahead and get that roll out, go on run y'all bag up, get y'all shit together. Because whenever I didn't, whenever I first got my shit, like I went back to back to back to back to back. You know what I'm saying? Fill my shit all the way up. Yeah. So it's like now, nah, but I had to. You know, you live and you learn. I was like, well, shit, I should have really put this money into this. I could have fucking had this shit already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I was just moving fast and wanting to shine hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but this next set is like all big boy shit. So it's like they gonna they gonna respect me for sure. Like even though this ain't even no rap. Like this not even a rap. This is just. Me, me, and me, like, that's the thing that make me different from a lot of niggas. Like, I don't wake up and get in, I get inspired by certain shit, but I don't be inspired by what other niggas be doing. Like, like if a nigga do some real shit, I salute it, take care of his partner, salute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All day long, but me, I naturally be just trying to create new shit. Like, looking up new jewelry I want, or shit like that cars and clothes and all type of shit it's just i don't go to another nigga page and be like oh i want the same shit he got yeah you know what i'm saying yeah so i think that shit just it come more natural and that's why the people gravitating to me because they know a nigga not forcing it like yeah nigga not just trying to do some shit that a nigga don't normally do yeah and you ain't rushing it too that's facts because you could have been had chains and a lot of shit but you wasn't you wasn't really pressed on that at the time you was really just trying to build shit up from the ground that's what a lot of people respect too yep okay so let's talk about investments like so you i know you got all the shine and all that shit people want to know do you have investments too that you kind of putting shit behind the way you can get all this shit back easy yeah like right now right now we're working on we working on closing on some properties. Okay. And shit, we gon we gonna damn near we really trying to figure out like if we wanna go with an actual business like a mechanic shop or put some eighteen wheelers on the road, shit like that. But I know for shit show I'm like into real estate, like cause I like nice shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I like to have nice shit, have access to nice shit cars and all that like it's just really right now it's just so my mind is so open to trying new shit getting my hands involved in new shit like even like i be telling my partners and shit like y'all niggas if y'all even if this this shit that we doing don't work you know what i'm saying we still need to be able to do what we trying to do you know what i'm saying nigga need to be able to Live how you want, dress how you want. You know what I'm saying? So I be coaching and trying to preach to my niggas all the time, like save the money y'all got, bro, and we can put it together and get us some shit going. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I already know, like for me personally, regardless, I'm gonna have to get some shit going. So yeah. right now I just be experimenting and trying to research and learn about shit before I do it. I just, you know, just trying to be smarter, you feel me? And not just be out here making mistakes and doing shit just off of the feeling. Yeah. Like, a nigga just really got to take his time with life because this shit is a long-ass race. I be telling people, like, like right now, bro, you able to run around and do whatever you want to do and go to the club all night and all that shit. What you gonna do when you 60 years old? Like you still gotta have something coming in. Like you still gotta be able to pay your bills, especially if you ain't took advantage of your youth and 
got you some properties or yeah. you know what I'm saying? Some ownership of certain shit, invest in certain shit. Yeah. If you ain't doing that, then you really like wasting your time out here. Like you living good right now, but in ten years you gonna be running to ran through all your bread. Yeah. Work trying to work a job or you know what I'm saying? When you done had it and you could have just put it in different areas plant seeds here and there yeah. and let your money work for you. That's what I be trying to preach to niggas. And when niggas ask me certain shit, like, I just be trying to tell niggas like, nigga getting a lot of money or getting whatever you got going on, whatever you got some shit rolling, yeah. take that shit and try to do something else with it. Like don't just put everything on the wrap or everything on the trap like no you gotta spread it out and have different savings everywhere like hide money from yourself type shit yeah that way you'll look up and be like damn i ain't know i had this you know what i'm saying you done been in your everyday money you know you know what i'm saying and then now you done fuck around and stash the way the same as you've been playing with you yeah. know what i'm saying so that's what I had to figure out the hard way though. Like, yeah. I had to not do shit for a year and really say fuck going out, fuck rapping and all that. Just so I know now, once and now that I'm rapping, I don't have to stop and go get the money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or have to make a play real quick and do this. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's really what it is. Like, Learning from shit, not just going through shit and saying, fuck it, we take losses. No, you're supposed to really figure out why you took a loss. Like, I'm just so thankful. Like, I didn't have to go to jail, like, a bunch of times to figure this shit out. Like, yeah. go to the pen or go, you know what I'm saying? Nigga was able to, damn, I got caught with this, bond out, not have to do no jail time and shit like that. Yeah able to stay out and stay free and keep hustling but get smarter hustling you know what i'm saying that's that's the growth right that's why you see from my first interview mm -hmm. to right now it's like yeah bro done really stay down really and on top of that i don't be involved in no bullshit. Yeah. that's the killer part yeah. okay all right so let's talk about this right so, don't get me wrong. I, I, hopefully, I'm not mistaken or whatever, which I don't feel like I am. But I haven't seen niggas get booked right now. Like, yeah, she's opening back up, but we still in quarantine, bro. You done got booked three times. And, and, and we, yeah, we're going to say three times in a day this week. Like, we didn't talk about the weeks before, just this week. Yeah, this what, what, is, what, what got them gravitating to you like this, bro? Cause people starting to believe now, I feel like, I think people starting to see how serious I am with this shit and how I ain't gonna stop. Like every day out there and shoot a video. Like, so I got about nine videos putting up. I don't know when I'm gonna drop them. I don't know where I'm gonna drop them. Yeah. I don't know when they coming out, but if I wanted to drop every day for the next two weeks, I can do that. Like, yeah. For sure, every day two videos at a time you know what i'm saying because a nigga just i don't know i got so i fell in love with this shit again and then i just wanted people to see the growth like the videos is like capturing the moments almost yeah. because from my very first video to my most recent one you ain't got to do you can't do nothing but respect it like yeah. I just feel like right now, whatever about to happen with this shit, it's gonna, it's finna happen. Like right now, I ain't saying I'ma sign no deal tomorrow or no shit like that. But yeah. however far we gonna take that shit, the journey finna start. Like soon, I can feel it. Yeah. Like it's a vibe. Like. Shit, it's already started, bro. For sure. Think about it. Like last year, just just last year, was you getting booked? Three for you know what I'm saying? Like in one week type shit. Like that's growth, bro. Like Yeah, for sure. And then mm -hmm. it's like all the shit going on and 
niggas still want me to come through. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit going on. <laughs> niggas is, is hitting your line. Like, hey, I need you here. I, and you know what I'm saying? All the other niggas that's working. You know what I'm saying? So, so okay. So, next six months, bro, what's the plan for, for the music? What, what are we going with? Well, by the end of this month, I'm gonna drop some more music. I'm gonna drop uh, it's a mixtape called Slug and Friends. Got like all my features on it, like Fujiano, uh, me and Jay Fizzle. I got me, Jay Fizzle, and Key Glock. Uh, Big Moochie, Great, Fast Lane, Walt, Jeremy, um, Bugatti, CJ. Molly. Who else on that motherfucker? Got some some unreleased music I'm gonna put on there. A lot of the, the videos I've been shooting. That after I drop that tape, I feel like I should be one foot in the industry at that point. Yeah. With them all of them type features and and they, the songs is hard, like, all, all my features, like, a lot of them hoes, I wasn't really, like, a lot of my music was kind of, like, pain felt, yeah. shit like that. A lot of my shit is, like, turnt now, like, yeah. Five Beats, XO, Legendary, Finesse, Gamer Boy. Shit, who else on that motherfucker? Ferg. I, I fucked with a lot of producers, like, and then I just learned, like, once you start fucking with producers and getting your own sound, like, all of these dudes that I named know how I rap, like, yeah. they make beats and send me beats that cater to my style, like, yeah. so I really been, like, playing with my style and my voice, trying to get my shit to sound a certain way, you know what I'm saying, and now, I'm getting closer and closer, like my song quality and my song presence is starting to get there to that industry level, like yeah. the beats, they, they starting to get to that, oh yeah, this is, I sound like a banger, like yeah. once I did Stupid is yeah. when I kind of start figuring out what I wanted to sound like and how I wanted to come on and what type of songs I wanted to drop, like. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all right. So go ahead and shout out to social media as well. Once again, shout out where we can find the music. And just stay tuned. There's more shit coming. Yeah, man. Follow me at Money Gang Slug on Instagram. Money Gang TV on YouTube. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on whatever videos you fucking with. Uh, plenty of features on the way. Slug and friends on the way. More videos dropping soon. Me and OTR got some big shit coming. Shit, we just working consistently, staying on that neck all 2020. Fuck coronavirus, fuck cancer. Shit, get you some money, man. For sure. We out.